Week three, a bird's eye view, inspired by Penzance Harbour by Brian Pierce. You'll need to be able to see the picture to make your art. You will need two or three sheets of the largest paper that you've got, some colours, a marker pen if you have one, or a biro, a pencil, and any other colours that you've got available. Paints, crayons. Pick five objects. They can be anything. I have chosen things out of the kitchen. A mug, a slotted spoon, a serving fork, a mini nutmeg grater, and a banana. We are going to look down on the objects from above, a bird's eye view, and draw them. Draw the outline of your objects on one of your sheets of paper. You don't need too much detail, just the basics. Now go round the outline of your objects with a black pen or whatever colour pen you choose to use. Cut round your objects making sure you can still see the black line. Cut them all out. Once you've cut them out, colour them in. I'm using coloured pencils and I like it when they go all sorts of different directions and the colours start to mix together. Try to stick to the colours that Brian Pierce has used in his painting, mostly yellows and browns, and then a little splash of red. Use the other sheet of paper for your background and cover this with colour. You could use magazines or whatever else you've got. I have used the insides of envelopes because although they're all one colour, they've got lots and lots of different patterns that makes it quite interesting. Cover the whole piece of paper and stick them down. Lay your drawings out on your background and move them around until you're happy that you've got a nice and interesting composition. Stick them down. Make a frame out of paper or card and that just finishes it off. And have a look at your creation. If you've done a harbour of boats, it would look just like a Brian Pierce, but our still life is in the style of bird's eye view. Take a photo of your finished piece and email it to Penley House, email at the bottom of the screen, and pop your piece in your window as the third piece in your windowsill gallery.